starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. We gotta do it 12 times. Press. Yeah. We've already done it six, and as so long as I'm not really drunk, couldn't we skip the rest? Oh, okay. Now, now it's my turn. What are you gonna do now? I'll treat you for sunburn. Have everything you need? Guess so. Guess and so isn't the way to survive pork. Now, do you have everything? I'll check. See, bandages, sheet, pins, goggles. I presume you're the one who's my son? Sure, Mom. Well, that's a relief. I thought maybe you'd change places with a man from Mars. What are you supposed to be? Well, he's not supposed to be anything, Miss Miller. He's just protected from the sun. Oh, that's good. But you wear this every time you go swimming? Oh, you don't wear that when you go swimming. You wear that when you're stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean. Oh, I see. Well, when do you expect to be stranded on the ocean? Well, we're just practicing survival methods. Yeah, Miss Miller. It's all in this book here. Well, this kind of information can be very important, and I'm glad you're learning it. But uh, right now, could you spare the time to help me get my preserves back up on the top shelf of the cupboard? Sure, Mom. Thank you. I'd prefer to be able to recognize my co-workers, though, so would you mind getting out of that outfit? Okay. In just a minute. Let's finish practicing our survival training. Okay. Well, what are the three basic needs for survival? Food. I said three. Food, water, and shelter. That's right. Let me ask you one. Okay. How do you purify drinking water? Oh, you can boil it, put a couple of drops of iodine in it, or let it drain through the soil. Boy, you sure do know this stuff. I'll bet you we could survive, well, even without food or a gun or anything. Oh, sure we could. We could build traps like we're in these books, and oh, we could start fires without matches. Yeah, except we'd never get the chance to try it. Hey, Porky, I got an idea. What? Let's go on a camping trip this weekend, only we won't take any supplies. Not even one sandwich? Oh, you won't need anything to eat. Think of all the berries and fish you can get. Are you sure? I don't want to waste the weight of nothing, you know. I'll bet you you wouldn't lose one ounce. Oh, but I would. More than that. I'll bet you my new compass against your new jackknife that you'd even gain weight on the trip. Oh, boy, it's a bet! We'd be real careful, Mom. Lassie will be with us, and we wouldn't be back any later than Sunday night. And you wouldn't go any further than Granite Lake? No, we'd camp right by a stream that flows into the lake. And it's warm now. No rain's expected. Now you boys have thought of about every objection I might raise. What do you think, Dad? Well, I see plenty of objection. But, uh... I don't see any reason why you shouldn't go and have a lot of fun. Oh, thanks a lot, Gramps. I'll work twice as hard when we get back. Well, I guess that settles it, if it's all right with your mother, Porky. Well, Porky, you call your mom, find out if you can get permission, and I'll get our supplies together. Come on, girl. How much am I? 134. Now, when we get back, the first thing we'll do is to weigh you again. Okay. Well, I sure hope you know what we're doing. Sure I do. I know this book by heart. Well, Pioneer, here are your supplies. Well, there's a thermos of cold milk, and I made a lot of sandwiches, and some different kinds of fruit, and cans of soup, and beans. I know it seems like a lot of food for just three days, but... Porky, you all right? I feel better, Miss Miller. Oh, he feels fine. He just remembered that he has to go on a diet. Oh, well... Maybe he can put it off until after the trip. Oh, now, boys, be very careful, huh? And remember, get back on Sunday before dark. 
Oh, we will, Mom. Don't you worry about us. Oh, Porky, will you leave that alone? What are you going to do? Hide it. It's in plain sight. Someone must be camping here. Yeah, maybe you left some food behind. Porky, no! You don't do that. Boy, he must be some tenderfoot. Even an open fire like this. Yeah. Well, he's probably close by, out fishing or hunting. You still shouldn't have left an open fire. Yeah. One little spark on these old dry leaves and whoosh, the whole place is on fire. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna put it out. Someone's gonna be awful mad. So what? At least it's safe now. Mm. No, come on, our camping grounds aren't far. Yeah, and then we eat, I hope. Give me a home where the buffalo roam. Hello, boys. Hello, mister. Hello. You boys on a hike? No, sir. We're on a camping trip. Well, it's a small world. So am I. It's my campfire over there. Yes, sir. You see, we... Oh, I put it out. You what? Oh, he... Uh, we put it out. Well, what's the big idea? You know what took me an hour to get it started? Maybe you think you own these woods. No, sir. But you shouldn't leave an open fire like that unattended. Especially when everything's as dry as it is now. You didn't even clear away the dry brush or surround the fire with rocks like you're supposed to. Oh. So now you're a forest ranger. You're gonna protect the woods. It's everybody's job to protect the woods. We'd be glad to build you another fire, if you're ready for it. And we're glad to help you eat dinner, too. Oh, no, thanks. Just go away and leave me alone. Go on. No, Lassie. It's all right. Come on, Pork, we'd better go. Here's a spot, remember? Yeah. Hey, listen, running water. Boy, I'm going to drink a gallon of it. Wait a minute. Haven't you forgotten something? You mean I got to purify it first? Water from a running stream? Remember what the book said. Why take chances? The book? You must have lost it. Uh, who cares? You memorized it anyway. Oh, Jeff, I'm gonna die of thirst. It won't take you long. Here's a nice flat rock you can use for a shovel. By the time the water gets down through the hole, it'll be safe enough for you to drink. Got a safety pin on you? I don't know. Okay. Now, let's see if we can't catch us some fish. What on earth was it doing there? Well, somebody went to a lot of trouble to hide it there, I can tell you that. And, oh, yeah, the, this was there, too. Survival training guide. Oh, Dad, I'll bet those boys have gone out into the woods without food, water, or anything. What do we do now? Well, there's nothing we can do. You can't find them in them woods. The worst thing could happen would be they'd get a little hungry, then they'd come home. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm not worried. All we have to do is sit tight until they come, that's all, and just tell ourselves that everything's going to be all right. Good fire, huh, girl? Hey, 
Jeff, look what I got. Oh, berries. Thanks, Pork. Well, you guys are ready for supper. Let's go. Well, I sure am. Okay. Here, bro. Tell me you're full. Yep. Are we gonna have good luck like this every day, Jeff? Oh, maybe not fishing, but first thing tomorrow we'll build us a deadfall. I mean, what do you think we'll catch? Well, who knows? Maybe rabbit, squirrel. I wonder what squirrel tastes like. Oh, it's good. Oh. Sure it is. Besides, when you're trying to survive, you've got to eat most anything. It's the law of the jungle. Boy, nothing's gonna get past this trap. Yeah, but sure, are you sure the law will fall the right way? Sure it will. Look at the picture in the book. I forgot I don't have it. I sure hope it didn't fall out at home. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice, but what difference does that make? Well, what if Mom or Gramps finds it? Then they'll start getting ideas and worry about us. Yeah, they sure would. Oh, I know. I can send a note home with Lassie, tell them that we're okay. Okay. Take this home to mom, girl. What's she doing here? It's a note from Jeff. Oh, listen. Safe and sound, home on Sunday. Love, Jeff. I told you there was nothing to worry about. That boy knows how to take care of himself. I guess I should have known better than to worry. Not that I fully approve of this survival stunt. <laughs> Looks like our messenger's threatened to get back to the boys. Is that what's on your mind, girl? All right. I'll give you a message to deliver to the Swiss family Robinson for me. Some trap. That's all I can say. You've got to have patience. You would have made some pioneer. Home, home on the range. Where the deer and the engine will play. Two hundred years ago. Look, you smell something? Something to eat? Oh, it smells like smoke. Smoke? Yeah, it does. Be a fire. Over that way. Oh, the breeze is coming right toward us, Jeff. What are we gonna do? We gotta get down to the stream fast. Hey, sounds like we got something in our trap. Help! Help! Doesn't sound like an animal either. We'll get you out, okay? Just don't move. Porky, give me a hand with the log.
Lassie, didn't you take this back to Jeff? Dad? Dad, come here. What's the matter? I don't know. Something's wrong. Lassie came back with my note. She didn't take it to Jeff. Well, that ain't like her. Here, look, she wants us to follow her. All right, girl. Be right with you. to report a fire in Huntley's Woods. Thank you, ma'am. But we've already spotted that fire. Please, uh, listen very carefully. There are two boys, my son and his friend, trapped in that fire. Two kids? You know about where they are? Good. I'll get on it right away. Are you sure your boy will head for the nearest water? If it's a smart thing to do, I know he would, if, if he could make it. Did they have time to get to water, mister? I hope so, sir. The rescue units are headed there now. We'll know something soon. Your leg bothering you much, mister? Oh, not too bad. Yeah! Rescue? We'll sure try. Well, step on it. That wind's shifting fast. Roger. Out. Oh. Here, sit here, Miss Miller. Oh. Now, you take it easy. In another hour, you'll all be safe at home together. Oh. Here you go, Pork. Have another. I've had three already. Gee, it's your turn. You're just dehydrated, that's all. Well, I don't know what that means, but I sure am thirsty. No. Uh, go ahead, Jeff. Well, you swallowed more smoke than I did, Porky. Yeah, I guess so. I do need nourishment. Here. Have a banana, too. Gee, thanks. Oh, Porky, we forgot to weigh ourselves. You remember the bet? Yeah. This is one bet I'm gonna win. Practically skin and bones. Well, come on, let's go. 
140 pounds. 140? But how could I gain six pounds? I almost starved to death. You lose, and I win your pocket knife. So pay me. I guess so, but I still don't understand. Just proves I was right. You ought to go on a survival trip every weekend. Oh, I couldn't stand that again. Right, my bet's a bet, and you win. Okay, here. Even Lassie knows you shouldn't bet on a sure thing. A sure thing? Uh. 